So today we are going to be discussing about one of the most important topic of our NTN web automation testing with Cypress cores, which is nothing but our Cypress reporting. And this is one of the most important topic that we have not discussed in our Cypress cores. And the reason are because there are many problems that we had with the Cypress reporting with the new update of the Mocha 6, which happened while I released this course. And now the fix has been made and it is available for the public use, which means we can now use the Mocha 6 with our Cypress reporting, which is nothing but the Mocha Awesome reporting. In our last video, we discussed how we can set up all the reporting options and different packages that we can install for the Mocha Awesome reporting. And in this video, we are going to be running our test and see what's going to basically happen. So in order for running the test and see what's basically going to happen, I'm actually going to go and change the code a little bit here. I'm actually going to run the uh, test this time in the Chrome browser. So I'm just going to say npx cypress run uh, whereas the browser is equal to Chrome. And this is exactly what we discussed even before in our previous sections of this course. So I'm just going to be running that. And you can see that it is going to open the uh, Chrome browser for me and then it is running the test so you can see that the test is running fine without any problem and once this particular test has been executed you would have noticed that there is a new folder called mocha and within this mocha you actually have these JSON files so you can see that as I said before in our previous video this mocha awesome report actually generates different JSON files for each and every specification file. So this is what is the Cypress 3.0 has brought to us and it's gonna generate different specification files for us every time while we run the particular uh, test and it's gonna generate the report for us something like this. So you can see uh, it is currently running the test and we know that some of the tests is gonna basically fail. The reason is because in our fixture we have used the Lambda test user and have not given the right password. So the test is gonna fail but you can see that it is going to be uh, generating the report for us over here and then it is uh, running the test for us without any problem which is really really cool so now i could see that we have this particular uh, mocha report being generated so it is coming over here which is pretty cool and then once the whole report is generated we can then combine uh, the report and then we can also generate a complete HTML file based upon the merge report uh, that we have. So we have already installed the Mocha Awesome merge in our previous video. So I'm going to quickly run some of the commands and I'm going to see what's basically going to happen. There you go. So now you can see that three out of uh, 10 test case uh, failed, which is fine. But we can see that the Mocha report has been generated pretty good over here. And now we are going to be running a command for the merging of the complete report so that we can then merge the report and we can see how the JSON file is going to be generated. So for doing that, I'm actually going to be creating uh, a directory within my, uh, within my Cypress over here. So I'm going to call this as uh, Mocha reports and then I'm going to run this particular piece of command. So it's going to be mocha azam merge uh, reporting directory cypress reports mocha, this guy, right? And within that, I'm going to take all the uh, JSON files and then I'm going to merge into one file, which is going to be report.json file. So I have executed that and you can see that there is a report.json file coming in over here. Uh, oops, sorry for that. It's npx mocha merge. There you go. And now you can see that the whole, uh, all the files that we generated before in our execution is now merged into one report. And the next thing is we need to create the HTML file, which is nothing but generating the HTML file. And then we can see the report, how it's going to be looking like. So for that, I'm going to use the Marge. Marge is nothing but the Mocha Awesome generator. And then it's going to come take the uh, JSON file and then it's going to output that particular file as a mocha reports for us over here. And you can see that we have this uh, report.html file. I'm going to reveal this in the folder and I'm going to double click this guy. There you go. We now have a very nice, cool, neat report 
that we have not discussed so far in this course is coming over here as this particular report. So this is the one which you guys were expecting so far that we have not discussed and now we have discussed that and you can see that it shows like what is the step being executed and it shows the passing and also shows the failure for the reason of the failures uh, why it has got failed and you can see that the iframe has got failed as well and the XSR has got failed because the login, the login was not performed and all those report is coming in over here and you can see uh, there is like show past you can just show uh, the failure alone and you're gonna remove all the failures if you want and you can show the pending show the skipped test and all those stuff from here right so this is how you can see all those kind of uh, all those kind of stuffs from here and also shows the timeline of how much time it took to execute this whole test for us so this is how we can generate the report using the mocha awesome HTML report and we can also merge the report something like this and the next thing we're going to do within this package.json file is instead of running the report something like this like merging these commands can be even more enhanced within the script file something like this so i can just create a script like combine reports and then i can do a generate report or something like that and then i can do the exact same thing so basically within this mocha awesome uh, report let's say i'm just gonna remove all these guys over here and now if i just go npm run and i'm gonna say combine reports and you can see that oops uh, let me save this it seems like the file has not been saved so there we go and now if i try to run this once again you can see that it has created the report.json file for us and once the combined report has been executed the next thing is the generate report so i'm just gonna do the npm run and generate report i'm gonna hit enter and you can see that it's gonna generate the html file for me so this is exactly the same thing that we discussed with our command but just that this is going to be sitting within the package.json file as a script so that you don't really have to type the command each and every time so this is kind of very very easy we can also use something like make files to store all these kinds of stuffs and again make file is very very easy and it is very simpler to execute in the mac and linux environment because it is available out of the box so we can do that but these are the things that we can do within our cypress reporting to generate the report and also merge the report in our next video we'll see how we can work with the j unit multi reporting and how we can generate that and also we'll discuss something about the make file with that we can complete our cypress reporting thank you